I got a hot tip from the Facebook group that these are in stock now. I looked on the app, it says this location has it. Um, fingers crossed that it actually does. It doesn't let you buy it online, which is kind of a red flag for me. But I'm going to Target and uh, hopefully they have it. Okay, so I went inside that Target and uh, I didn't see it on the shelf. I asked a girl to check for me and she said, and she gave, and her and her friend came over and said, "Oh, I just gave the, I gave two cases to somebody. He bought all of them. Fuck you, asshole." I'm at another Target. It says they have them in stock. I'm gonna check here. I'm in a parking garage. This one has a parking garage. Okay, Target number three. Um, so this, it's funny because this is the Target I actually thought I was at at Target number two. I got a little confused, but um, Target number two sent me to Target number three, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Three different targets, three different targets, and I finally scored. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do an unboxing when I get home. So this one also didn't have any on the shelf. And uh, I went to the kid in electronics because I couldn't find anybody in toys. And uh, the kid in the electronics department was like, oh yeah, those have a street date of the 25th, so we're not gonna sell them to you. And I was just like, whatever. I'm not going to argue with him. He's a minimum wage kid. I walked to the front of the store. I was going to go to the customer service desk, but there was a line. So I went to, the, there's an area where they, they stage the um, online orders. And I asked the girl who was um, staging the online orders to help me. And she got on the uh, walkie-talkie, uh, called the manager, and then the manager brought me one. They're like, do you only want one? I'm like, yeah. They had five of them. I could have bought more than one. And... Uh, I probably will end up getting another one eventually down the line to keep in box, but I, I just want to, I just want to get one for now, open this up and play with it. But yeah, so this is really cool. Uh, I, God, I love this artwork on the back. Wait till you see this artwork on the back. It's so amazing. It's amazing. It's badass. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very excited about this Skeletor head. Uh, I can't wait to look at it in the light box. It's got like uh, rhinestone uh, jewels for eyes. This is so cool. This is this is this is really cool. Um, Cronus comes with the gun. We haven't seen the gun make an appearance yet. So oh, maybe he comes with Castle Grayskull. I don't know. I haven't found a Castle Grayskull. My pre-order got delayed. But yeah, this is this is awesome. I'm gonna take this home. We'll do the unboxing. Okay, here it is. It's at home. I have it in the light box. Keldor Cronus. Keldor the evil apprentice of Hordak. Origins Cronus, evil criminal from another dimension. I really don't know Cronus's backstory. So I didn't know that he was from another dimension. Obviously, he was a human at one point and he becomes a cyborg when he becomes Trapjaw. But that is Cronus, that is Keldor, and the top of the box uh, cut off a little bit, but uh, we can tilt up. We have the technology. Uh, so there you see Keldor, you see Cronus, and then that's either going to be Hordak or Horde Prime. Not sure who. I don't know the whole backstory behind. Uh, I know that Keldor become Skeletor with the help of Hordak. So yeah, and then you got a, got a bunch of penis looking towers um, in the back. I don't know what's going on with those. Um, yeah. And then uh, on the side of the, you got this guy creeping up the cliff and uh, he's a scary looking reptilian. And then on this side of the box, we have the rise of evil, but there you see other villains so we see mini comics trap jaw and then lords of power merman lords of power beast man and then evil lynn number two kind of lurking around a corner and then on the back of the box as i tilt up we have we have them in a battle now look at this artwork look at this artwork here this is artwork tells the story so you have Lords of Power Beastman, we have Keldor, we have Cronus, we have Evil Lynn in a different outfit with white skin. So that's got to be our Evil Lynn number two that we're getting. 
mini comics trap jaw we have lords of power merman so we have stratos with um the human skin we have what looks like man at arms with no mustache and king randor could be general randor because he doesn't have a crown and they're in a big battle looks awesome um and then yeah words at the top of the thing it says before skeletor and trapjaw keldor and cronus terrorized eternia in their quest for total domination so there you go little backstory behind uh skeletor and trapjaw's origin um so then it gives you the instructions on how to take keldor's head off and replace it with skeletor's head and it has the deluxe figures on the back he-man uh, Battle Armor He-Man, Battle Armor Skeletor, Ram Man, Clamp Champ, and Panthor. The Flocked Panthor. It doesn't say Flocked, it just says Panthor. Um, so, the Flocked Panthor is a Walmart exclusive. And these figures are Target exclusive in the United States. Uh, I know Canada does not have Target. Maybe they're going to be at Toys R Us up there. Maybe they're going to be at... Uh, I don't know, uh, the bulk barn. I don't know, somewhere, somewhere in Canada you'll get these. The UK, you'll, you'll get whatever, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know where everyone else is gonna get them. I just know here in America, uh, we get them at Target. They are Target exclusive for America, and that's where I had to buy them. Maybe a Swiss Chalet will have them in Canada. I don't know, I, I, wish, I wish Swiss Chalet had them. That would be an awesome combo. You go to Swiss Chalet, you get some with history chicken you get a keldor origins cronus two pack and uh you know a bucket of uh mashed potatoes and you're on your way that, that would be super cool uh, I, but i doubt that's what's going to happen in canada and keldor and cronus have been freed from their cardboard and plastic prison and i put the staff in keldor's other hand because i wanted to emphasize the fact that he has two gripping hands and not just one so you might be asking, hey, Joe, where's the sword? How come he doesn't have the sword in the other hand? The sword is the same sword that comes with Prince Adam. Now, as you can see, they, they slimmed down the handle quite a bit. So it's a full power sword, but the handle is not as thick as Prince Adam. So you must be thinking, great, he could grip it. Well, guess what? Here we go. We're trying to grip it. And he won't grip it. He does not grip the sword. I'll put it in his hand and it comes right out. I accidentally bumped it that time. Let's try it again. You put the sword in his hand. It grips better than Prince Adam's, I will say that, but it does not stay in his hand. And you saw that time I didn't even touch it. Let's try this hand. Put the sword in the gripping hand. Boom, falls right out. I can't get, I cannot get this. I cannot get this sword to grip. I cannot get him to grip his sword. It is just as bad as the Prince Adam sword. <laughs> there we go. He's gripping it. He's gripping it. It's kind of loose in his hand. Kind of loose in his hand. But he has the sword. And you can move him around and pose with it. But look at that. It's, it's falling out already. Uh, so yeah, it does fit better. Uh, maybe if you play with the thumb a little bit, you can get it to stay. So it's definitely an improvement but they haven't look at that as soon as i bent the arm back it came right out of the hand it's an improvement but they haven't gotten it down yet i don't know why they're having such difficulty getting the sword uh the full power sword correct just use the half power sword handle and put it on the full power sword is it that hard is it that hard of a concept i don't understand why you can't do this mattel uh it's very frustrating as a collector to have the sword come out of the hand over and over again like that. Now Skeletor, like I said, the, the hand, this sword is a little bit better. You could get him to grip it if you play with it enough, but yeah, as soon as you start moving that arm around, forget it. He's gonna, you're gonna wanna pose his arm first and then put the sword in it. Let's talk his cape first. Let's take his head off. And I wanna talk about his cape because I thought maybe his cape was the same as Hordak's, but then I remember Hordak's cape is actually built into his armor, so it is not the same cape. Then I thought, okay, maybe it's the same as Scare Glows, but as you could see, 
They are two completely separate capes. Scareglow has more folds going on at the top. Different material altogether. This is more of the material that's in line with the Hordak cape uh, than the Scareglow cape. But they are, they're, they're completely different, so it's a completely different cape. I'm assuming that is the Lord of Power armor. I don't have a Lords of Power figure. I can't compare the two. But, yeah. So let's take a close-up look at this uh, Kala head. Uh, I'm going to take it off of him. So, yeah, you can see it's got these uh, plastic jewels in the head. Uh, I'm not crazy about them, but they're not a deal breaker. Um, they give it like an ever glowing effect. Um, but that is the Skeletor we all... But this is the Skeletor that we grew up with. This is the Skeletor that we grew up with and loved. This is him. This is the sculpt. We finally have it in the Origins. I just wish they didn't have those stupid... Uh, I wish they would have just done it with paint. But uh, we'll, take, we'll take what we can get and we finally got it. And I'm very happy about it. No peach, though. There's no peach around it, but he's definitely got the green around. And uh, he looks good. Looks good. Looks really good. Another thing I want to mention about Skeletor is he has human arms. He doesn't have those... Uh, he doesn't have the Skeletor reptilian arms that he has. Uh, same with the legs. And he's got boots rather than the Skeletor feet. And uh, so there you go. Any of you guys who are not waiting for faker can use him as a decent faker to customize and make yourself a faker because he's all set there you go you got yourself a faker or just wait for faker to come out and here he is next to origin skeletor and as you can see they don't quite match uh skin tone wise or uh color of their their gear wise so not the end of the world you can always do you can always swap the parts you can swap everything over if you want uh, this Skeletor's arms for this head uh, you could you could swap your armor and I think you would have a pretty good match and he doesn't quite match the color of battle armor Skeletor either um, so this is an even darker color than Battle Armor Skeletor. Uh, it's probably a better match with Battle Armor Skeletor than with regular Skeletor. So I would use these feet if you're gonna do the Skeletor swap and give him this head. And for why not purposes here are Skeletor and Keldor's head side by side. As you can see, Keldor has, has the long hair, it's bendy in the back. Um, so, yep, and here's the back of Skeletor's head, in case you were curious. There's nothing you haven't seen before on any other Skeletor. It's the same friggin' head. And next up we have Cronus. Cronus comes with the gun that came with Castle Grayskull. It came in the weapons pack. It came with Manny weapons. It came with Mail Away, Wonder Bread, He-Man. This gun we've seen before. Um, this is the modern origins version of it that has this bottom part that the vintage one did not have. I want to point out on the back of Cronus, he's got the weapons rack for the trap jaw weapons, which I thought was kind of interesting. Because um, he doesn't come with trap jaw weapons, but he has the rack for them on, his, on the back of his armor. Interesting blue that we have going on here with this buck. I think that's probably going to be the blue that we see for Web Store. I'm not 100% sure. And here he is next to Trapjaw. I want to say that they are the same blue. I could be wrong on that. It could be a slightly different blue. Um, but it looks the same to me. I'm definitely not a color expert. But to me it looks the same. They have the same legs. They have the same uh, loincloth fuzzy underwear. They have the same boots. Waist down, these are exactly the same. Uh, torso up, they're completely different. They have... Cronus has the regular Masters of the Universe Origins figures buck, whereas Trapjaw has it, but he's got the robot arms that we see on Roboto and Manny faces. So they have different arms. 
Cronus does not come with the belt. I think the belt probably would have been a better idea to come with Cronus than his armor having the weapons rack on the back. But that is not the case. The weapons go on the back of Cronus and on the belt of Trapjaw. And there you see the weapons. They fit snugly on the back of Cronus's armor. Um, so yeah, he can carry the trap jaw weapons. He's got a gun. Now, if you want, if you want to, so that's the thing. Like you take his hand off, and these weapons don't go in his hands. So I don't see the point of having him carry trap jaw's weapons on his back. I, I just don't don't understand it. I don't see the point. Even Roboto's weapons don't really fit in the hole. Um, I bet you the fiends would. I just fail to see the reason why Cronus would carry Trapjaw's weapons because he probably wouldn't get them later on until it becomes Trapjaw. So he wouldn't have the weapons in the first place. And here's Cronus out of his armor uh, in case you've ever wanted to see Cronus, how he looks without his armor. And that's how he looks. My Cronus has some uh, paint wear on his face. Uh, I don't know where that came from because it doesn't look like it might just be the plastic from the packaging melted onto his face. <laughs> I, I don't know. But uh, he, look at that goofy looking face that Cronus has though. Like, look at this. But yeah, that's Cronus for you. Um, he's a, these are cool figures, they're Target exclusives. And uh, don't buy them on eBay. There's this, don't buy them on eBay. They're already on eBay. Don't buy them on eBay. There's a streak date of these for the 25th. I imagine after the 25th, you're gonna see these in a lot of targets. Don't buy them on eBay. Don't, don't, buy, don't buy the scalpers. Don't give them the money on this one. Another thing I wanted to point out is the two Havoc staff differences. Um, so Skeletor is obviously is completely purple and uh, Keldor's is this translucent green that turns purple as you go down the staff. Skeletor's has some give to it. Keldor's does not. Like if you try to bend Keldor's like that, it's going to snap. You're not going to want to do that to Keldor's staff. Um, so yeah, if you want one to bend, go ahead and play with Skeletor's because that, that has some bend to it. This does not. This will snap if you try to do that. This is very brittle. Do not try to, to bend your Keldor staff. Um, but it's, you know, you're not meant to bend it anyway. Just be careful taking it out of the package. I can see some people snapping these out of the package because um, they don't know any better. Just don't. Don't do that. Be careful. These are very, very brittle. My minor gripes aside with the, the weapons, these are very cool figures. Uh, I'm so glad that I got them. I got them on day one, it seems like, when they came out. They actually, they have a street date of the 25th. You don't go running to eBay for these. People are charging an arm and a leg today for these on eBay. Hold tight. Be patient. Patience is key because I feel like these are, these are going to be available everywhere coming in May. They have an April 25th street date. So I don't think they're going to start showing up in most targets until that day. And then, like I said, going into May, June, and into the summer, I really feel like you're going to be able to get your hands on these a lot easier than today. Do not go on eBay and spend the eBay prices for these. Just be patient, wait. I was fortunate enough to live in California. They seem to have, uh, they seem to have been released in California early. Um, which isn't always the case. It seems like Texas got Castle Grayskull in stores before everybody. California is getting these. Lucky me. Uh, but don't go on eBay. Just wait. Be patient. They're coming. Thank you guys for watching. Um, these are really cool figures. And I can't wait for you guys to have them in your collection. They're, they're very cool. Just remember what I said about the weapons. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.